Hello everyone, this is Aaron, Coffee Chug, and his son, Sky Dragon. Hi. And we are here to show a sample quest for a sixth grade interdisciplinary project. As we've shared before, um, we've used a map by John Miller of a capital city in ancient China that he's created, which is what you're looking at now. Uh, we have not filled in the whole city, that's part of the project, but just for the, the time being we're going to show a sample quest of what we want the kids to do. And so, uh, my son here is going to take us down to the beginning of the quest, while well, he's getting some things figured out here, and he's going to be explaining it all, as he's the one that's really kind of created everything, uh, while he's getting set up here. What we're doing um, is incorporating sixth grade social studies language arts and math standards together this is just one piece of a much larger project in which students will be designing the very own quest in which they're going to have to use the social studies language arts and math standards in the quest to showcase their understanding and the learning so this one here will be using ratios and math obviously language arts comes through with the writing and designing of the quest and then social studies that has to connect to ancient China. And so, why don't you go back to our starting point here, uh, Aiden. And what he's going to do is walk you through this quest here that we've created. Um, and from start to finish, in this case, creating a firework for the Chinese New Year. Um, and you're going to see a, a walkthrough so you get an idea of what kids could do. Keep in mind, my son is not in sixth grade. Um, so we haven't been studying ancient China to the extent that we could um, and math is obviously something that we're still working on but with that being said I will let him explain this quest to make a firework so I would... all right so first you'd right click on this guy if you look down in the bottom left corner um, you can see well if you look in the bottom left corner, you can see. The wrong one. Hello, and whatever your name is, I need your help for making fireworks for the Chinese New Year. Head to the Creeper Zone for your first task to collect gunpowder for the explosion of the fireworks. It's just outside the city walls. Follow the gravel path. And this would be the gravel path, and then you'd follow it. It's kind of, it blends in with the stone. Harder to see. And then you'd head over to these stairs, and you'd walk right up, and eventually you'd jump down. And then, once you'd come in here, you'd usually this sword would pop out through here while you step on the pressure plate. Then once you come in here, if there's no creepers in here, that's what you get the gunpowder from. Oh, oh. So what we'll have in here while he's going to load this up with creepers, the teacher would have this set up ahead of time. But what we'd be doing here is the challenge or the character on the outside of this wall um, that he didn't click on, but the goal would be to battle 10 of these creepers. And the first math lesson would be to see how many creepers out of 10 give you gunpowder. So go ahead and start to battle 10 of these. And this one covers our sixth grade ratio standards in which you can see in the project plan, which we'll share. And so he's going to go through and just battle 10. There's two. Just keeping track of how many give us gunpowder. We're going to incorporate this in a book here, but in a class, we can start doing ratios. We have some different questions in which we could write the ratio sequences, um, how many out of the whole, how many compared to how many didn't give, that sort of thing. Um, so basic math easy way just another way for kids to see um, math in a new light as well as starting to understand the math that goes behind Minecraft so if we were to look here um, what we would find is you already, you already had some gunpowder preloaded didn't you? yeah I had one so we got 13 gunpowder 13 gunpowder so then what he's gonna do is out of 10 He's going to go over here. There's an information block that he sees. I'll go ahead and explain this part. Oh, the information block? Yeah, what are you going to do now? Well, first you right click on this and it says, Look at the chest in the middle of the table to the left of this block 
and right click the chest. Take a book and write down how much gunpowder you get from 10 creepers. You take a book and quill, you'd right click and then you type down, I'd say that I got 13 and then you'd, and if you run out of space on here, you just go to the next page, to the next and to the next. Then if you're the last one, you press sign and then then you'd go to here and whatever the book title would be. Good. So once you do that and you return the book to the stand, we've got that part done. We've now collected gunpowder. That's the first ingredient to our firework. Now we're going to go ahead and click on uh, Blaze here for the next task. All right, what she's going to ask you to there. We've already entered that, and now we want to collect gunpowder. We want to head to the farm to collect the dye for the colors in the gunpowder. So, uh, Ain's now going to follow this gravel path that he's created and go grab some uh, dye here. So you could do this in a variety of ways. He's going to go ahead and and check this guy here in a minute. If you were in survival mode, you could chop down the flowers and collect a dye this way. We are in creative mode. And so we're going to provide that for them. So what do we have here? Uh, in this information block, which is the note block, the one that has a note on it. If you right click it, it says right click the chest to the right to open. And then here's all the dies. Um, I won't take any of this because I can just spawn it in eventually. So, hello whatever your, your player name is. Take the colors you need for your firework and then enter the cave to find the chest. Beware of the dragon. So here we are, we're entering the third piece of the task of this. And so you can see in the garden, we've got the cherry trees in blossom here. Now he's gonna be entering this cave. We've got the color, we've got the gunpowder. Um, and so now he's gonna go ahead and enter the cave. We can check what this guy says. I was gonna tell us to be careful of the dragon. We have to find the paper in the chest, and then we have to head back to the market to make our fireworks. So, uh, why don't you go ahead and explain this? Well, eventually, you'll climb up this ladder, and then once you climb up, then I'm just flying up so it goes a lot faster. There's these over here, and there'll be these guys, which are like bad guys. That's a skeleton. These are creepers, which you were in the creeper pit. And there's the big dragon that you have to kind of hide away from. So you go down this ladder, and then you go, kind of like fall off, and run around here. And then you have to get over to the dragon's egg. It says right click, chest to open, and then you take about five pieces of paper. If you right click these, right click these, you'll split them in half. And then you can put them back together. And if you didn't get enough gunpowder, you can take some of this. So, then you take that, put it on there in your inventory. And then you'd sneak back over here. And you'd had to go, you would have to go around the ladder. And then get over to this part. Because down here, you can't jump up and get to it. So, once again, I'll fly up to the top. And then you'll have to climb down the ladder, which is going to be the tricky part. So you have to kind of like look off the edge, make sure that you didn't go down the wrong block. And then, once you head down here, you head back to the main city. I should probably add ladders so you can get back up. So oh. we're heading back here to the market. You see we have a market area sectioned off here. Um, in our quest, due to time, we didn't get as much historical content as, as we had hoped for. Uh, we can weave that in, but now we're going to head back to the fireworks. But you can see with the dragon, we can start to add folklore in there and, and some, some myths and legends. Um, we can really get a lot more involved in the math, which we'll do. But here now we're looking at ratios and then uh, another ratio standard, which we're looking at recipes. And so in this case, go ahead and get your stuff that you need. Uh, um, at this point, students would already have this in, in their inventory. He didn't take it out of the chest at this point, um, just to keep it loaded up for, for students and teachers. 
you would have these materials and now we start looking at the ratios needed to make a variety of different fireworks and so he's going to show you here just how to make a simple firework and what these recipe boards are all right so this will be a simple firework don't can don't get confused by all the different dyes i mean you can just use the three basic ones that were over in that chest and then i'm just going to take some from this chest that i already had prepared you right click on the crafting table you put the gunpowder in the middle then you put whatever color dye you collected you could put multiple around for different colors I'll show you what that would look like um, just do a basic one right now alright so once you craft that you'll see it would pop up in here and then you would go over here this is a different colored one which has multiple this is all the colors and then you'd have the firework, which is the firework star, which is in my hand right now. Then you put the gunpowder and paper in the crafting table in that exact order. So you go here. And that's what you made before. Yeah. Yep. And, and now we have the firework. The firework. And then from there, we could go ahead and launch, correct? Which yep. is what you have there on the recipe board. This is the one that I had, which was created by this which had all these colors. This one is just a one color, which is just, if you look, okay. If you look on where I'm, where the firework is highlighted, to the right of that, there's a little box that shows you all the information about the firework. And it, the color it launches is magenta. All right, so why don't we go ahead and see what this firework looks like. Alright, so what we have here is just a, a simple firework, correct? Yep. And the beauty of this, we can get in the ratios of the recipes. There's a variety of different ways to craft fireworks in different colors, um, faces, trails, all sorts of different things. So we can really take the idea of ratios and recipes for ratios and, and really push things to a whole new level. Um, so this is just an example of what a student could create. In this case, it was my son that put this together. So there's one with a variety of colors. And so kids would create this and they would own that learning. And then through that, you would share this world in which anybody could use. As you can share the worlds out for the world to use. And we could develop all these learning opportunities as we go through. This is just one example. I hope this helps make some sense of, of where we're going to be taking things. And that's where we're going to keep adding and tweaking and, and making this even better and, and more awesome. One block at a time. And is there anything else you want to add? Nope, not really. All right, so if you have questions or thoughts or ideas, obviously feel free to reach out. And this is Coffee Chug and uh, Sky Dragon signing off on our firework quest in ancient China. Oh, I'm tired.